another day another problem so let's solve hello guys i hope you are all doing well today in this video we're gonna solve the maximum sub array problem so let's get started by reading the problem first given an integer array nums find the sub array which has the largest sum and return its sum so the first way to solve this problem is by using dynamic programming and dynamic programming is a way to solve problems by breaking them down into smaller parts and remembering the solution to those smaller parts so you don't have have to solve them again and the maximum sub array problem is a classic problem in computer science it involves finding the contiguous sub array and an array of integers that has the largest sum for example let's say we have this list of numbers so the first thing we're gonna do is to initialize two variables called max sum and current sum so the max sum variable will keep track of the maximum sum of any sub array that we have found so far the variable current sum will keep track of the sum of the current sub array that we are considering then we're gonna start iterating through all the numbers in the array starting from the second number and at each iteration we're gonna update the current sum to be the maximum between current current number and the previous current sum plus the current number. This is because we want to make sure that the current sum is always at least zero. If it's negative, then it's mean that the current sub array is not adding any value and we should just start a new sub array from the current element. Then we update the maximum sum to be the max between the previous maximum sum and the current sum. This is because we want to ensure that the maximum sum holds the maximum of any sub array that we have found so far. Then finally we return the max sum which is gonna be the maximum sum of any sub array in the input array so as you can see each time we have the current sum less than the max sum we keep that previous max sum means we keep the sub array that we have the biggest sum and each time the current sum is bigger than the previous max sum that's mean we are expanding the maximum sub array sum so let's jump according the solution first thing we're gonna do is initialize two variables current sum and max sum and set them equals to the first number of the array then iterate throughout the list of nums starting at the second number of the list and at each iteration update the max num to be the maximum between the current number or the previous current sum plus the current number then update the max sum to be the max between the previous max sum and the new current sum after the loop has finished the return the max sum variable which holds the maximum sum of any sub array in the input array So the time complexity for this solution is O of n where n is the length of the array and the space complexity is O of 1. The second way to solve this problem is by using the slide and window technique. So let's take another example of lists of numbers. First, we initialize a variable called max sum to be equal to minus infinity. Why we do that is because we will have a case when the total is negative and when we're gonna update the maximum, we want it to return the max sum if it's negative. For example, if we have minus 2 and 1 we return minus one as the maximum sum and we declare another variable called current sum which is the sum of the current sub array then we declare two variables called start and end that are the indexes of the start and the end of the maximum sub array then we start iterating throughout the list of nums at each iteration we're gonna add the current number to be the current sum then set a condition if the current sum is bigger than max sum first we update the maximum to be to be the current sum then we update the end to be the current index but what if the current sum is less than zero so we need to set another condition when we have the current sum is less than zero means negative number we want to start another sub array so we set the current sum to be zero and the star variable to be the end variable plus one means we're gonna start another sub array so in this example before the iteration start every number was set to zero at the first iteration starting at the first number five the current sum is equal to five so here the current sum is 5 is bigger than the max sum which is 0 so I update the max sum to be 5 and the end to be the current index which is 0 then the start variable gonna keep being the first index because we don't have a negative current sum next iteration we will have 4 plus the current sum which is 5 so it's 9 so 9 is bigger than the max sum we update the max sum to be the current sum 9 after that the start variable gonna be the same because we are not starting another sub array 
it just we are adding to the sub array so start variable equal to index zero and the end gonna be the index one means the current index moving to the next number we have minus one so here the current sum is nine minus one which is eight so we don't do anything we keep everything as it was because the current sum is less than the max sum and we move to the next number seven we add the current number to the current sum which is going to be equal to 15 then we update the max sum to be 15 and the variable n to be 3 then moving to the last number 8 add 8 to 15 the current sum now is 23 we update the max sum to be 23 and move the end variable to be indexed finally we return the max sum so let's jump at code in the solution first we initialize for variable max sum to be minus infinity current sum and start and the end to be 0 then start looping over the list of nums, add the first number to the, to the current sum. Check if the current sum is bigger than the max sum. We update the maximum sum to be the current sum and move the end to be the current index plus one. And we set another condition. If the current sum is less than zero, we update the current sum to be zero and move the start to be the end variable plus one. Finally, we return the max sum. So the time complexity for this solution is of n and the space complexity is of 1. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.